Hi guys, um, welcome to my food. It's Sunday again, and I'm making a Sunday roast. Hope you are all well and healthy and happy. And today I'm cooking a pork roast. See, it's already sliced on the skin. It's a pork roast from Woolworths. I untied, untied it because I now I wanted to stuff with a lot of stuff. See, you can just cook it like that, but I got the things off and then because I'm gonna stuff it with a lot of flavor stuff, I use a fennel. See, fennel cut, slice up some fennels on the bowl. See, it's gonna stuff the pork with. And one green apple, already peeled and cored and slice it small. See? And now I'm gonna get to the pork. Just put a slice, deep slice in there. Because it's where our stuffings go. And this, after this, we're gonna go straight in the oven. Yeah. It's up to you, you can buy the one already made from Woolworths. Or you can ask your butcher to clean the pork up for you. Or just cook it the way they already prepared, but I I wanted to stuff it. And now I'm using better veggie salt. Put plenty of them. Put heaps in there. There's a lot of meat, there's a lot of pork in there. So you need to flavour them up, in it? Roll over my down, don't be scared to play with it. I think um, my camera's moving around when I'm working. A little bit more. So all that salt because there's so much meat in it. So of course. Okay, um, some of the dry herbs, mixed herbs. Fill it up. You can put your own flavor on it. But this is what I'm putting in there. Just keep checking if our video is working or wrap it in there. So, what I'm going to put in there is. Um, Oh, and some of these um, fried onions. You can them from a Chinese shop, you know, it's very cheap. Big bag of fried onions. It's almost like turning into a powder. So fried onion, onions to put it in there, fill it up our pork. Oh, try not to put too much because you might not fit the stuffing. It's all about the flavour that you put in there. Now I put... Uh, Sweet chili. It's a sweet chili, but it's not that chili. It's not much chili at all. But it's nice and not very sweet too. But you can use any sweet chili. Boil it in there. And rub it in with everything else. This baby is gonna be delicious. Did I say malicious? Okay. Maybe a little bit more. Skipping our pork moisture. And it makes it taste like we have a apple in apple skull with um, pork. And that um whatever I just said it before. And this will make our in the pork taste like sweet and sour pork. With an apple and our fennel. Okay, I think maybe that's enough. Now, let's put them stuff in. Bit of fennel. Just push it in there where you put a knife through. You know, food is so delicious when you play with. You put a bit of love in it and whatever you feel like, the flavors you come up with. It should go with the food, isn't it? Push it all that in there. 
Don't be scared now, Apple. I slice the apple very small, see? Nearly like a paper. So it's easy to cook in the apple. It will melt through the, the meat, isn't it? Again, the apple is a bit sweet and sour. It's giving that sweet and sour taste into our pork. I'm be scared to fill it up because once I finish, I'm going to fold it back like this and look how fat it's getting. And then tie it up. And as long as our skin is crunchy, that's the main thing. So, I'm going to use some of this stick. Just hold our pork together while I tie it up. I think it'll keep folding out, but don't worry, you already got enough in there. And when you finish tidying up, you can use your finger to push all the stuffing back in, you know. And this side will go on the bottom of the pan, so it doesn't matter if it's not going to fall out. Okay, here's our book. You see how the stuff is going in between the middle, and now I'm about to tie it up. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Let me post this for a sec. Hi guys, still doing um, this guy's operation. Okay, look now we tied it up. I'm just tying the last rope. Tied it tight. Make sure it's nice and tight and make sure it's all level. Now, let's get some of that rope off. I can just tell already this book is going to be delicious. Or malicious. <laughs> there, see? Now we remove our stick. There you go. It's ready to go in our oven. Put it on the tray. I'll show you something very important on a, if you want us um, crunchy skin of the book. I'll be back in a minute. Here you go guys. Um, get a nice, if you don't have a paper towel, get a really nice clean um, tea towel or cloth and try the skin. Really like a baby. Just move the rope aside, you know. Make sure it's now. I need salt to make your skin crunchy. This is what you do you put salt on, but it's not gonna crunch it, just putting salt on. You put salt in the palm of your hand. Maybe you wet your hands a little bit. Turn it and rub. Massage salt, salt on the skin. And I tell you what, you won't disappoint it. It's going to be a beautiful, crunchy skin. And inside is so moist. Okay, I'm going to put this in the oven for 150 degrees for an hour to uh, make sure it's cooked inside that pork and all that veggie and after our one hour half an hour in a high heat just to crunch the skin put it on top you know close on the top shelf what is hot the hottest part of the oven and if you massage the salt in the skin tell you what it's gonna be crunchy and yummy and with all that after you put in there the sauce, the everything, your pork's gonna be beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna say in there, then sprinkle now. It's time to put this guy in the oven, and I'll be back.
in a minute or an hour later to show you uh, what, how's it gone. Okay guys, we're back. Hey guys, I've got to tell you something. Um, you when you put this in the cooking pan, you put a bit of oil on it. This is olive oil, but you can use any oil. Just to put the moisture into the bottom of the pan so it doesn't burn or dry out the bottom of the pork. Okay, I'll be back soon. Hi hey guys. <laughs> I sort of forgot about a pork in the oven but it seems like it's cooking perfectly the skin is very crunchy now and it smells beautiful it looks black but it's not burnt I don't know if it's rest properly So hot, it's hard to cut when it's hot. Yeah, that's a book that's beautifully cooked, isn't it? And that skin, it's so crunchy and it's moisture. Yeah, that's our book for today. And now it's time to have maybe have a glass of wine. I've um, got a bit of food off for, always serve mum first. Mum loves my cooking and she's the one that teach me how to cook all this kind of food and all that, you know. Say close to your mum and learn from her. <laughs> okay guys, thank you for watching and I'm gonna enjoy this pork after I cut off some um, pork for mum. And have a glass of wine in a Sunday afternoon and enjoy. So thank you for watching and thank you for following and like my page. And don't forget to share our page, my page to your family and friends just for free recipe. You, remember you can put your own flavors in there. If you whatever you don't like, it, take it out. If you like something else to add something, put it on. Okay everyone, thank you for watching and happy Sunday. God bless. Much love. See you later.